Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today, instead of giving you a typical Righteous Fire video or a damage over time character, uh, I actually decided to try my hands at playing something melee for the first time in, I don't know, like four years. Um, with the recent surge of people hosting, I think I'm Exile hosting the uh, melee only private league, I just decided to, you know, try out melee. Granted, with all the stuff that's been happening, plus I just played a little bit of hardcore, I did not really want to play in a hardcore setup. Although technically on this character, I only had one death and it was at level two because I spiked to uh, 210,000 latency and I don't necessarily really think that care matters. But regardless, um, this character just recently entered maps and we are playing a two hand bone shatter jug. Um, so the reason for this, and I'm just gonna explain a little bit then we're gonna go jump in a map, is I always really, really love the jug ascendancy. Uh, it's so, it's kind of, it's really tanky. It's not like champion, but it has a mixture of mitigation and sustain. Uh, mitigation through things like unbreakable, uh, unflinching for the max endurance charge, unrelenting, um, and sustain from also unbreakable. So essentially, um, we are going two hand maces intentionally because I was watching on Karn's stream for a very small amount of time. I guess he constantly does like restarts of his characters and uh he was memeing it with a mace and it looked really fun and i was just like okay um you know clearly if people are playing him it is definitely a thing so i don't know what anyone's tree actually looks like you know we built everything from the scratch we're gonna learn things as we go just like with righteous fire i really enjoy building a shit character that has potential and then making it work because that helps me learn rather than just like looking at someone's guide copying and you know just saying yes that's just not really for me so uh here's our scuff character right now so we're playing a jug um essentially our current auras are just and we're going to be changing so much but right now we just have determination precision and war banner the reasoning for precision is because of the node precise technique i know it seems like a bit of a travel for it but the node literally gives 40 percent more damage which is kind of nuts uh the dex helps right now for running grace the hybrid leech point is good until i fix my warlord's mark uh there's some okay life nodes i could get a mace wheel so for now this is okay i think i'm gonna drop this around red tier maps and maybe just go rt but for now this is very point efficient i know my life pool also seems very low but at the moment again in white tier maps we have 18,000 armor 78 79 78 six endurance charges um with unbreakable so i mean at the moment everything is okay obviously spell damage hurts a little bit but we'll be working on getting a full spell suppression set so yep uh as for my gear i'm using a real good uh, pile driver as you can see here uh custom crafted it's just a vendor recipe with you know an attack speed roll um my gear is pretty much shit across the board nothing really that special i, mean, I guess this ring is actually not bad uh same thing with this amulet is I don't know okay but they're not really no this amulet's actually really bad most of my gear is not exactly uh very good the belt is okay for res but i think i want to reduce the enemy stun threshold belt uh and then to just cover my links real fast which again like 90 percent of them will be changing but at the moment we have bone shatter with ruthless rage and what is this you can see brutality uh then we have life tap warlord's mark mark on hit uh and then the term so in this setup here i definitely want to do a uh cast one damage taken instead of mark on hit because then i can also put in molten shell here uh and we don't even have a guard skill so that would give us like a constant like eight to ten thousand armor that's constantly like refreshing uh, over here i've got life tap leap slam faster attack seismic cry i don't actually ever use seismic cry i map with ancestral cry um then over here we have vengeance just pretty much by itself uh blood rage ancestral cry grace grace is not even being used it's just leveled right now so technically i could just remove the stuff around and put a molten shell in uh war banner maim ancestral protector and precision all right with that being said my flasks are also complete shit uh let's go jump into a t4 map so yeah again just to talk this is a fresh startup again um we started on i think it was saturday maybe so you can see like people this is literally all we have is 10 people but from my experience of playing melee so far, I'm actually really, really, really liking it. Bone Shatter has this really cool thing where when you stun a target, it creates this like pulsing AoE Nova. Not pulsing AoE Nova, this like one pulse AoE. Who is this guy? There we go. 
And the one pulse AoE is actually very nice for map clearing. Like, really, really nice. One weird thing I've noticed is... Um, so, so, as long as you don't intentionally roll the unwavering mod on maps, monsters will usually not be stun immune. But there is a rare chance that... I don't know if blues can have it, but yellow mobs can have... Um, yellow mobs can basically have the cannot be stunned, aka unwavering mod. What I've noticed to be very annoying is it seems to be like a 50% chance on an essence mob to have the unwavering text. So my single target is pretty bad right now. Um, I don't know if it's because you can't properly stun lock bosses and then not being able to stun lock them results in not having the shockwave procs or it's just because my gear is complete shit because you know, that's fair too. So unbreakable, this node here makes it so 1.5% uh, of damage that you mitigate is added as life regen. So look at my life regen right now when I attack things. You'll notice that my life regen drastically goes up, up, and up, and up. And the more ZDPS you have, the more life regen you get, which is pretty cool to be honest. So that is pretty much one of the, the big factors of me wanting to play Jug for this build specifically. And then we get Unbreakable later, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I have to say, the melee progression was not nearly as bad as what I, pretty much like all the information I've heard of. Melee seems, number one, extremely easy to progress if you have the knowledge of just vendor crafting your, or your recipes. Melee feels very good once you get started into maps uh, with their speed. Like, because of uh, getting the ability to use like rage, uh, you know, wanting to use things like blood rage, being on left side of the tree means you probably have some life regen to be able to run like uh, blood rage as well. You'd, like it just feels very smooth, a lot more smooth than I initially thought. I do understand though, bone shatter might be an exception as it's like one of the few skills where at least for melee and i could very well be wrong this is not really like my cup of tea to speak of but uh it's really cool because instead of like traveling to get aoe nodes you can just scale stun duration uh so bone shatter if you look here bone shatter is um pulse has 15 percent area of effect per 0 0.1 second of stun duration up to 400 percent so currently, and, and we can get more, we're not trying to go super far out of our way for it. Uh, like there's an entire stun cluster like right here, but uh, my bone shatters, how do I check stun? My stun threshold reduction at the moment is 57% and my stun duration is 155%, um, which is really cool because stun is kind of like a defensive layer, but it also adds to your clear, which is super nice. You guys know me, I'm always more of a map clear Andy rather than like a bossing character. So uh, yeah, I, I like map farming to get good gear to then kill the bosses rather than the other way around, have like a really good bosser that does not map as well. It's just kind of like my preference. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. I just wanted to say hello to you guys and kind of just like discover melee and figure out all the different cool things that I can do. So that's what we're going to be doing on the stream for the next couple of days. So Without further ado, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live uh, at twitch.tv slash pox every day but Sundays. See you guys all tomorrow and cannot wait to play Sentinel League.